By trade, Joyce and I are both bankers. Farmer State Bank is located in Hosmer. We're an independent bank. Uh, Joyce and I own the bank uh, ourselves and have for a period of time now. I think it's really helped us understand if you get your shoes in the same shoes as the people that are walking in the front door uh, doing some of the same things. Uh, we don't farm necessarily our acres, but we get out on those acres and you just get a first-hand look at what our customers are dealing with day to day. And I think it's really helped our bank probably have a closer relationship with our borrowing base and our customer base actually. And I think it's been a, been a real good thing. The ranching and the banking together has uh, I think done a lot of good things, at least for my, my own sake and knowing how people might uh, come in and make their requests and, and uh, run their operations. And even though each operation is done completely different and managed the way it needs to be, I think it's made us a, a better bank. About 32 years ago, uh, we made a decision to buy a quarter of ground and probably run 15, 20 steers on that ground to get us away from, at least for me anyway, to get myself away from my desk and outdoors, which is really where my heart is. So that's how we started. Basically, we had a quarter ground that had an old fence, so we tore it all out and uh, built a corral system to load and unload cattle and uh, to hold them in a pasture. And uh, that's where we started. And since that time, uh, we've expanded our ranching operation into Edmonds and McPherson County. We now have a pasture located from where we sit today, which is south of Hosmer, South Dakota, up to the uh, North Dakota border. Got it spread out. So we've spent the last 30 years plus pounding in a lot of fence posts, building some corrals. We're now running a cow herd at about 350 cow-calf pair. Uh, supported with about 17, 18 uh, Angus uh, Semitol cross bulls. And uh, we do do some backgrounding as we uh, pull those calves in the fall. And we also sell directly to, to the market. So we do some of both. As I get older, I rely more and more on younger legs, which is our son Joe, and our real ranch manager, who is Bill Johnson, both here in Hosmer. Over the last 20 plus years, we've converted a lot of acres away from crop into grasslands with the help of uh, uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and we worked with uh, Ducks Unlimited and, and uh, soil conservation and others to, to get that accomplished. Where we live is probably in a prairie pothole region, some hills, but more rolling. As a result, there are potholes too, uh, so we do in wetter years hold a lot of water in this country, but in drier years such as this year, uh, we are in a severe drought uh, area. What happens, I think, is you will lose water, but you can also retain some water with having these grasslands in place. And then even if you lose the water, you can gain some additional habitat and some additional grasslands and some areas can develop themselves, which I think is really important to the ecosystem and, and the future. I think uh, that shows, and especially in a year like this year where you get to some of these areas where you get the rolling and you still, we still have water holes that have water and we have habitat for ducks and geese and, and some of that water could even support livestock if it needed to, at least to a degree. We do a lot of cross fencing ourselves and we do utilize pastures, but what we've done may be a little different. We have a little more flexible approach, I think, and maybe a little less structured than some. Uh, whereas we will use some grass acres fairly hard at certain times of the year. We may uh, not use any grass for certain times of the year. We still do keep some crop acres. We have some just to the east of us right now. We'll use that in the fall uh, to, to take cattle from grass into those uh, uh, corn stalks or residue, soybeans, whatever it might be, and we can utilize that forage along with uh, our, our ranching and our, our grassland operation. Cattle's a tool to grow grass. Grass isn't meant to sit idle. It's meant to be disturbed. If grass sits too long without use, it starts to overgrow, uh, starts to choke itself out, and that's where you start seeing an increase in your non-native species. And you even start seeing production go down. Cattle's just a four-legged tractor that manages 
the grasslands for us. The native prairie out here, the grasslands of the Great Plains, it's a natural resource that's going away. And if it isn't for people like Bruce that are out here preserving it, it's gonna be gone. And it, it helps in just endless opportunities from cleaning up watersheds to having these wetlands that are holding floodwaters and preventing flooding events we see downstream to helping sequester carbon for clean air. It's important for Bruce because it's helping his operation, it's helping the cattle in his operation, it's important for ducks because it's keeping grass in the landscape, it's important for the American people because it's keeping a natural resource out here. The grasslands are, are not only good from the ranching side, but they're good for outdoor interests. They're also good for, I think, diversity and economies and, and, uh, and all the rest of it that goes with living uh, where we live.